Hey, Jan Nurser here, working today with the Matrox Monarch LCS Lecture Capture System. From a hardware perspective, what it does is it takes two inputs, and the inputs can be either HDSDI or HDMI. Um, and the design for Classroom is one input in from a, uh, a desktop computer, and that's the, uh, the command center you're seeing on the right, and then the other one is the talking head. So you take the inputs in, you can combine them, um, as you're seeing here, or you can send them out as two independent streams. So you, if you have a player that can let the viewer choose which streams they want to watch, it's compatible with a player like that. And what I want to do here, since since we've got both uh, both both screens up on the on the monitor, is uh, is show you a little bit about how the software works. So we're in the command center, and you know we've got two channels, and the channels are really recording um, channels. So there's two encoders here. This is hardware. Uh, from the Monarch MDX, I think. It's, it's one of the other Monarch products that's a dual encoder. So what you can do, and what I'm doing here, is I'm sending a single stream to Ustream. You can't see it, but it's going to a monitor on my right. And I'm also recording a stream to, to the SD card in the Monarch LCS unit itself. And then from a software perspective, you can set the two streams up five different ways. You can go single isolated, that's one stream, dual isolated, and that's what you'd use, again, if you had a player that can accept two streams and let the viewer choose which stream to watch and, and how to combine them. We don't have that here. You can do switcher, in which case you use this little A-B control over here to switch the streams in real time. Um, probably not something a lot of people are going to do, but it's nice to have that capability. And then you have either picture in picture, um, which embeds the picture, you know, you, you, you want to hook up the video to A, and then B would be the, uh, the PowerPoint. Um, and you could put it in any one of these four positions or the layout that we were actually using, which is side by side. And when you go side by side, you can either choose to have the video the same size as the, uh, the PowerPoint, or you can just let the, uh, the video be cropped, uh, which obviously is the mode that we're using here. And then from a picture-on-picture -picture perspective, you can also choose to crop the video as well. And that's pretty convenient because a lot of the times you're not going to want to um, to have the full 16 by 9 video input, you really just want the, uh, the center cut. The, uh, the downside is none of this is configurable, at least it's not user configurable. You may be able to, um, to get into it with, uh, with an API or something, but in the controls itself, you can't choose any other layout or customize any of the layouts. It's pretty much, you know, catch as can. And then here are the videos, and here's where you choose which inputs to use, whether it's um, HDMI or HDSDI. Here's where you choose the audio. I'm using the audio from the camera, obviously, not from the computer. And here's where you set some basic uh, parameters for your audio encoding. And then if we go over here to encoder, okay, I want to leave because I don't want to stop things. And here's the two channels. Again, you, you have two channels of encoding. In this case, what we're doing is we're sending one to Ustream and we're recording another. And then you've got a bunch of presets and all these are configurable. It's pretty much your standard um, your standard encoded controls. There are no presets for um, for destinations. Uh, so, you know, if you look at Telestream Wirecast, if you want to log into Livestream or Ustream or, or YouTube Live, you can do that. Here you'll have to push, uh, enter the parameters for the stream name and the, and the server location yourself. Not a big deal um, for most people who, who this is designed to be, uh, to be driven by. And, you know, if you've got a bunch of people using it, you can save and load uh, the current settings, you know, the encoder settings, how the streams are, are comprised into a preset. And, and that's pretty much it. Once you got everything set up, you press start to start the dual, um, in this case, one record, one stream. And let's see if there's anything else we need to worry about. Here's the status. Here's where you, you'll see if you have any errors. This will be in the messages here. And the device is just, you know, basic information about the device itself. So, uh, dual input lecture capture system. Uh, Matrox has an API that you can work with if you want to integrate it into your learning management system. $24.95, pretty reasonable price point for dual HD SDI. Um, and obviously you can also use it as a, uh, you know, a dual encoder. If you want to send uh, different streams to different locations, you can do that as well with the product. Matrox. Monarch LCS 2495. I'm Jan Ozer. Thanks for watching.